All right, so we're going to make a uh, diluted fuel process, well, and including the packaging of the water, the uh, packaging of the diluted fuel, and then unpackaging of the fuel at the end. Uh, and this is a setup I created uh, for running a pair of refineries and, and packages and running uh, everything's overclocked to 243%. Uh, so that the uh, so it runs in that pair nicely, and also because at that overclock rate, that's almost 250. It's almost 300 water. Sorry, so that's a fully overclocked uh, water extractor. So it really pairs up nicely. Uh, the final product is here. You can see I've already made three of them. It's a very compact design. Uh, and we're gonna, and it has uh, an isolated uh, empty canister recycling system going on as well. So I'm gonna build it now, and uh, hopefully you can use this or come up with something similar. So we start. It's very tightly packed, but nothing glitches or clips. So you have your packager, and then you have your refinery. Uh, I'm going to use, I'm just using the uh, alignment from there to make it easy for me. Where is it? Is it here? Yeah, there it is. Okay. So it's on that there. I believe. Oh, no. I'm the wrong way. It's always a struggle when you don't have the machines right where you want them to line up for. And a trick for that is, well, here's a building trick. I'm just going to bring one closer so I've got the building line and then uh, obviously I want to line up the output of the packager uh, this annoys me that the orientation is not right okay so we'll just use that there so the output of the packager to the input of the Refinery, and the reason why it's this close uh, will become apparent soon. It helps with the other input. Now, the um, next step is to have the next refinery, and it's just the way I've laid it out, but I know the next refinery goes on the cross line of these two foundations. There we go. So then I can line up the packager to here with that one. And I'm going to put a splitter here feeding that way. I'm going to mark three belt going that way, that way. This is our packaged water uh, at 243% uh, overclock. Um, whoa so if you put the shards in first it even works uh, so 243% overclock there uh, these are also going to be uh, the 243% overclock and this is the diluted package fuel recipe um, that one there it's easy to do this too when the machines are without any connections uh, hold on, I didn't need to do that habit okay so that there these are a direct connection because the product the, the package water is going into here now the heavy oil residue is here I need to change to my hotbar I need that one. I think it's. Uh, I think I actually come back one and one there. I'm just going to run the pipe like this temporarily because I can stand from behind and the junction snaps on perfectly. And then from there, I can go to that. I'm using Mark II pipes because I want to. You can use Mark ones. It shouldn't matter because the. Uh, 
heavy oil residue that's coming into each machine is 72.9 with this setup you can delete this after you've done that because you'll this is where your heavy oil residue will come in this way and it could come in from the other direction too if you wanted to but uh, so that's that part of it the next step is is the unpacking uh, which is another one of these and it is very much all butt up to the machine yep as close as you can get it another mark 3 belt there and the same with this one here because it's just a solid package product coming out and then it's coming into these machines and then getting unpacked and here is our uh, output product which is the canisters and those canisters come in together and then go to into that splitter so it's a circulating system uh, these also need to be uh, this is the unpackaged fuel recipe here and these also need to be at 243 percent and unpackaged fuel Oops. and that's that now uh, but obviously the last step is this is your flu your fuel output so this will go to your turbo fuel setup or your um, recycled rubber and plastic setup or maybe if you're not doing those your generator setup but this is the fuel output I'm not going to cover that here because we're really just dealing with this enclosed uh, setup which I believe oh, a wonderful viewer in chat came up with the idea of the Packomatic 5000 which I quite like but what's left is the um, the last step is the water extractors if you put uh, a pipeline support here another one here that there put your junction cross like that water into there and water into there uh, it looks like I was off by one there so I'm just going to redo that because it doesn't look nice that to there that to there and then you can simply place your uh, water extractor here uh, if you turn it around it, it will actually work better believe it or not it's uh, something I've recently discovered facing the machine is always good hook your pipe up to it and this one will need so it's the 145.8 times 2 which is like 290 or something so why not just go for a, uh, a, a an auto save because that also works really well in a tutorial and uh, but hey we're here we're having fun and also we have our these here so you might as well just do a 300 water in and that's it it's that simple it's a very somewhat quick setup and once they're aligned uh like you can just keep producing them as you see fit uh what else i think that's it that's the packomatic 5000 and i hope you find it useful and let us know if you came up with some uh, different designs or setups or whatever and yeah uh, so yes all you have to do finally is preload your um, canisters in the output here the empty canisters and also preload empty canisters into the input here uh, wait for the belts to fill up uh, you may also yeah and you just it'll be a balanced thing but once it's right that's it you won't need to touch it but uh, uh, thank you very much